Hi everyone, Flaming Footy here, and welcome or welcome back to a new video on the channel. And today, guys, I'm going to be reviewing round 23 and previewing round 24 of the 2023 AFL season, starting off with the previous round review, round 23. Friday night, saw Sydney defeat Essendon by 39 points under the roof at Marvel Stadium in a game which definitely seals up top spot for them and probably sees Essendon miss finals. Uh, well, does see Essendon miss finals. First game on Saturday was a dead rubber, but Melbourne smashed Gold Coast by 54 points at People First Stadium. The Giants defeated Fremantle by 9 points at NG Stadium. Now Fremantle's final hopes definitely come on to the last game of the year, and the Giants have locked away a top four spot. Collingwood did all they could to try and keep their finals uh, hope alive. It is still with some crazy mathematical result, but they did defeat Brisbane by one point in the grand final rematch, and Brisbane are now unlikely to make the top four. Port Adelaide held on to their second spot, defeating Adelaide by 22 points uh, in the showdown Saturday night at the Adelaide Oval. And St Kilda defeated Geelong by 18 points at Marvel Stadium, which uh, sees the Cats not entirely locked into a top four spot just yet. The Western Bulldogs smashed North Melbourne by 96 points. First game of the Sunday at Marvel to keep their spot in the eighth for now. Hawthorne smashed Richmond by 63 points to do the same. And Carlton jumped back into the eight with a 65-point win against West Coast at Optus Stadium to finish the round. So here is a lot of the Swans are, as I said, pretty comfortably in top spot. It takes something crazy mathematical for them not to make it uh, in top spot from here, but they should be pretty well in. Port Adelaide and the Giants will definitely tussle for second and third spot. It'll be a percentage for that one probably if they both happen to win, and if one of them loses, it would open the door for the other one to have that spot. The Cats are in fourth at the moment. The Lions are in fifth. The Doggies, Hawks and Blues all equal in sixth, seventh and eighth. Fremantle were the only realistic chance behind them in ninth spot. Uh, Collingwood still a slight chance in 10th, but it would take something crazy in Essendon. Melbourne, St Kilda, Gold Coast, Adelaide, West Coast, North Melbourne and Richmond are all out. And Jesse Hogan, 10 goals up in the Coleman medal due to him playing last weekend and Charlie Kerno not. He's on 67 goals, followed by Kerno 57 and Hogan 54. Jake Waterman is also the other one to pass 50 with 51. Time for the round 24 preview. Friday night probably will be a dead rubber. Melbourne versus Collingwood at the MCG. Collingwood to make finals from here would have to hope they win by win they win this game by 100 points and can't win uh, can't lose their game by 100 points. That's the only way this is going to happen. Melbourne played well last week against Gold Coast. Absolutely smashed them in the end. Gold Coast just did not rock up. Melbourne played really well in a game which they really stood up due to what's been going around the club recently with, with all of the trade speculation and all that. And Collingwood, it was a stunning come from the clouds win. They looked gone at stages against Brisbane, hung in there for a miraculous one-point win. It was a stunning game of footy, that one. I don't think this one will be as good as that one. I think Collingwood will win the game by 25 points, not going to get to the 100-point mark. Uh, it will see them out of finals. I think it will be a decent game, but I think the Pies will be too strong. First game of the Saturday, Geelong taking on West Coast at GMHBA Stadium. This one, fair bit on the line for Geelong. Uh, they couldn't drop the unthinkable, could they? This is a game they simply have to win to hang on to a top four spot. And if one of the Giants or Port Adelaide lose, it could open the door for an even higher finish than fourth, uh, considering they'll probably make up some percentage in this game. West Coast last week was definitely disappointing. They really should have been closer in the game, considering the way or considering the outs Carlton had. And they did play very well on the day, but West Coast just didn't really show up in the end and uh, in the end got beaten pretty comfortably. And Geelong, well, they really let one slip there. They could have had a top four spot locked in, uh, but they slipped up against St Kilda. Uh, and and I don't think it will cost them a top four spot. They should be winning this game pretty comfortably, and I think they will by 58 points and get a top four spot. Uh, the next game is going to be Richmond taking on Gold Coast at the MCG. This game is also irrelevant. Will be Dustin Martin's farewell game, though. Uh, he's not going to be playing, but he will be there. Uh, and, of course, it's Richmond versus Gold Coast. So Damien Hardwick coaching up against his former side for the second time this year. The Suns' first game at the MCG as well, coming in the last round of the season. The Suns have slipped to 14th place on the ladder due to St Kilda overtaking them with percentage. The Suns have won an away game, of course, that came against Essendon a few rounds ago at Marvel Stadium. But they haven't been able to win on the road either. Uh, sorry, at home either. They've lost to Brisbane and Melbourne over the past few weeks. So it'll be interesting to see how they go next year for sure, whether they can make finals, whether it'll just be another disappointing finish because it's looking likely that they'll finish 14th or maybe 13th uh, by the end of the year. Uh, and Richmond, well, last week they were they were okay against Hawthorne but weren't spectacular, didn't win the game. They got beaten pretty comfortably by the better side. I think this will be a good game of footy, though, and I think Richmond will win this game, get their third win for the year. I think Gold Coast will finish the season on a low and be disappointed, but I think Richmond will win the game by six points in. To be completely honest, it's a pretty good game of footy.
in the twilight. This round is going to be Hawthorne taking on North Melbourne at Utah Stadium. Another big game of footy in terms of the finals race. This one is going to be Hawthorne. They need to obviously win the game to hold on to their final spot. Could still finish as high as fifth if Brisbane happened to, or even as high as fourth if Geelong and Brisbane lost. But realistically, if the Dogs lost, they could probably finish sixth. And uh, if all those sides above them won, they'd finish seventh. Um, and of course, they could still finish lower, of course, if they lost and still missed the eight. But this is unlikely. They should be able to win the game and, and gain some percentage to try and hang on to seventh spot or potentially rise. Uh, of course, North Melbourne is their opponent who, who last week got absolutely smashed by the Western Bulldogs. And, and there could be another sp- smashing here. The Hawks have been one of the informed sides in the competition, recently been playing some very good footy. I think they are going to be hard to beat at Utah Stadium, I think. They should be able to get the win pretty comfortably by 73 points and hang on to that final spot because if they win the, if this game, their spot in the top eight will be locked in. Saturday night footy is going to be at the Gabba. It's going to be Brisbane taking on Essendon. Big Saturday night game this one is. Brisbane just simply have to win. They've lost their last two games. They really cannot be losing this one. Essendon, they're done. They're not making finals in 2024. Uh, it was a better year in some ways for them, um, but it's just going to be trying to see if they could get an upset win in the Gabba, which they have done a couple of times. Um, but yeah, this game way more on the line for Brisbane. They have to win to, to hold on to fifth spot because uh, a home elimination final against the eighth place team would probably almost surely see them advance the next week. Not guaranteed, but it, it, it'd give them a massive advantage. And missing out in the top four for them, of course, if Geelong lost and they won, they could still make the top four, but it's unlikely. Missing out in the top four for them is just, a, for where they were a few weeks ago, is definitely a huge loss for them. Uh, it means they'll be playing an elimination final. We'll have to win four games to win the grand final. Um, and I, I think they should be able to win this game pretty comfortably. Last week was disappointing, though. They did end up... Uh, they, they were up by a fair way and then and then end up uh, losing an Essen and just couldn't close out the game. And, and in the end, got overrun pretty comfortably, I think. The Lions will win the game pretty comfortably by 44 points and hang on to that fifth spot. Saturday night foot is also going to be the SCG. It's going to be the Swans taking on Adelaide at the SCG. The Swans... Again, take, it would take something mathematically crazy for them to miss top spot from here. They'd have to lose by 100 points. And the second place team to win by 100 points, uh, either Port or the Giants, um, which won't happen. They, they should be able to win this game against Adelaide, um, as I said. Um, but yeah, the Swans, they've been they've been the best side for the year. They've been on top of the ladder. They have been they have been stumbling a little bit as of late, but have been getting back on the winners list with wins over Collingwood and Essendon in the last few weeks to so just get back to that winning form, get back into a bit of form before finals and, and just work out how things are going. Their first quarter still haven't been great, but if they could have a really good first quarter here, they could win this game by a fair bit and, and really head into finals feeling confident. Uh, the Crow has been a disappointing season for them. They're in the bottom four. Uh, the showdown last week, they, they were competitive for a half, but couldn't close out the game in the end and, and got beaten relatively comfortably from where they were. Uh, so I think the Swans should be able to win this game. I, mean, I think they should be able to win it pretty comfortably by 39 points. Um, I couldn't see them losing it, couldn't see them losing first spot. They'll be able to hang on to first spot and play the fourth place team in the in the qualifying final. First game on the Sunday is going to be a little bit of an earlier game than usual, but it's a no overlap Sunday. It's going to be the Western Bulldogs taking on the Giants at Mars Stadium. Big game this one. is one of the games of the round, sixth versus third. The Western Bulldogs absolutely destroyed North Melbourne last week, gained a little bit more percentage and are currently in sixth. Tricky opponent this week, though, it's going to be the Giants at Mars Stadium. The Giants have been playing really well. They're on a roll recently. There's two, two relatively informed sides going head-to-head. The Western Bulldogs have played really well over the past few weeks. They did have that loss to Adelaide in there, but they had been beaten like uh, they had been beating Carlton, Geelong, Sydney a few weeks ago. So that they've been playing some good footy in the Giants. They've been on a roll. Uh, they were one of the sides which did manage to beat Hawthorne, who are also one of the other informed uh, in sides in the competition as well. Uh, but this is just a massive game of footy in terms of how the eight's going to shape out, uh, shape up. If the Giants win this game and Port Adelaide lose, they'll finish second. Uh, if they can get more percentage than Port Adelaide, they'd finish second. If they if they lose this game, they could still finish fourth, um, d- depending on other results. But they, they should probably finish third, um, regardless of, of what happens here anyway. Uh, the Western Bulldogs, well, their spot on the eight is, uh, in the eight is not locked in. If they lose this game, they could still be jumped by multiple numbers of clubs and still miss out if the Blues, the Hawks, and the Dockers all won. So it's a big game of footy, this one. Uh, their spot, of course, uh, in the eight, especially if they lose this game, wouldn't be decided until the final game of the year. I think the Giants will win this game by 13 points, which means the Dogs will have to wait and see how their season goes. 
Uh, but yeah, I, I just think the Giants are a little bit too strong. This is such a 50-50 game. I could really, really see it going anyway. But I just think the Giants have been playing that bit better recently and should get the win. The Sunday Channel 7 game is going to be Carlton taking on St Kilda at Marvel Stadium. Another big game for this one is if the Blues lose this game, their spot in the eight could potentially be up for grabs in the final game of the year when Fremantle will play. And the Saints, well, they're just going to be looking for an upset. They're not in the final eight race, but they could still finish 12th if they got this win uh, or potentially even higher. But I think 12th is as high as they can go if they got the win. Big game of footy. I think it'll be a really good game. The Blues played really well last week for the, the circumstances they were in without uh, half of their good side there. Long injury list. They played really well to get the 65-point win over West Coast. And St Kilda, they played really well for their 18-point win over Geelong as well. They looked gone at stages, and, and just their ability to keep fighting, even though there was nothing on the line for them, was brilliant. I think there's definitely signs that they could be that they could be a finals contender next year, uh, especially if they added a few more pieces to their to their team. Uh, they could definitely be around the mark because they've 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 come with a good rush late and. And apart from a couple of disappointing performances, which there has been a few for St Kilda this year, if they'd have won a few more of those games, they could have been right around the mark still. So I think there's, there's definitely hasn't been a horrible season for St Kilda. It's been a good back end. And I think they'll win this game as well. I just, I'm not sure like who's returning for Carlton and all that from injuries and stuff, but oh, I think St Kilda will just win this game. I think they'll just be too good. And, and I just think the occasion might just get to Carlton. I don't know whether all their superstars can have two brilliant games in two weeks. And I think the, the Saints will win this game by 10 points. I think they'll feel pretty confident after last week they can get another scalp, and I reckon they will. The final game of the regular season will be Fremantle taking on Port Adelaide at Optus Stadium. There could be a fair bit on the line, or there could also be nothing on the line by the time this game comes around. If one of the sides above Fremantle slips up or, or more, it could allow Fremantle to overtake them all, potentially, depending on how many lose their games, if any could determine whether they make the eight. If they all win, there will be no spot in the top eight on the line for Fremantle, but if one of them lose, they could take eighth. If two of them lose, they could take seventh. If all of them lose, they could take sixth spot. And Port Adelaide, well, they'll probably finish second or third. It'd be hard to see them finishing elsewhere, uh, especially with percentage, unless if Geelong somehow managed to make a lot and both Port and the Giants lost, uh, which is probably unlikely. Um, Port Adelaide played well in the showdown. It wasn't their most polished, best performance ever, but they did what they had to do, uh, and they did it in the end pretty comfortably. And Fremantle, well, last week was always going to be hard to beat the Giants. It was always going to be hard. Uh, and they, they got close and they, they played probably better than what I thought they were going to play. Uh, I thought they were going to be pretty close, but they they were they went really close and they went with the Giants all the way in that game, but just couldn't quite get it done at the end. So Fremantle, they're, they're probably going to miss out. I couldn't, I, I just, I don't see them winning this game. I feel like it'll definitely be a close game and they could. Um, but it will definitely depend on more so what happens with Hawthorne, the Western Bulldogs and Carlton as to whether they can have a spot in the top eight. I think Port Adelaide will win the game by nine points and seal up that second spot. So going back over my tips of the round, I've tipped Collingwood, I've tipped Geelong, I've tipped Richmond, Hawthorne, Brisbane, Sydney, GWS, St Kilda and Port Adelaide. And this is my predicted ladder. So I have Sydney on top, I have Port Adelaide. Uh, in second spot, of course, holding on to that second spot percentage, I have the Giants in third because they won. I have Geelong in fourth, uh, hanging on to fourth spot. I have Brisbane in fifth. I have Hawthorne climbing up to sixth because I see the Western Bulldogs losing, which will slide them down to seventh. I see Carlton holding on to the eighth spot. I see Collingwood sliding up to ninth and Fremantle sliding down to tenth with their loss. Uh, Essendon in 11th, St Kilda uh, going up to 12th with their upset win over Carlton. Melbourne in 13th, Gold Coast in 14th, Adelaide, West Coast, North Melbourne and Richmond. And my week one predicted of finals, I have Sydney playing Geelong in a qualifying final at the SCG. Brisbane playing Carlton in the first elimination final at the Gabba. The Hawks and the Western Bulldogs in the second elimination final at the MCG. And Port Adelaide and the Giants in the second qualifying final at the Adelaide Oval. That's my finals predicted week one matchups. So there we have it. That is the round 23 review slash round 24 preview. Massive round for you. This one is it is a big Sunday that is definitely going to decide everything. There's some great games in here for sure this round that are definitely going to decide how the season plays out and who makes the eight, who makes the top four. But thank you guys all so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another video on the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye everyone. Flame footy out.